Well, this weekend has been a crazy wrap-up for this game, and uh, enjoy the, uh, uh-oh, these are going up in prices. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. So uh, we're going to start off over here with Power Filter this morning. And you're going to be like, Robbie, why are we talking about Power Filter? Neither player can special summon monsters with a thousand or less attacks. So uh, come to find out, the OCG has gotten so angry with the new U-Bell package that's uh, kind of filtering around right now that uh, they're finding a way to uh, say no to that package. And uh, I don't really blame them for this. You know, the U-Bell's floating into other zero attack monsters. You know, if you go first and you drop Power Filter on them, I mean, what, what, are, they, what are they supposed to do here? And uh, it looks like pre-infinite nightmare here that the OCG is dealing with this five card splash package. I've talked about this a couple of times here, but now we're finally at a point here that the OCG is uh, teching for this. I mean, we've, we've talked about, I guess there are a few other options that you can try to do, but you're playing a five card splash package to get a monster negate that literally puts another Ubel back onto the field. And uh, that's actually kind of crazy to think about, actually. I, uh, I really do like the idea behind that so um you know if you want to if you want to see a five card splash package show up and uh start to be problematic well you know now is your chance to get ahead of this and get your power filters i mean a lot of people are speculating we're gonna get the u-belt imported in our battle set this year that does feel a little bit early personally but you know with how phantom is kind of starting to feel in the ocg metagame I don't really, I don't really blame people wanting to get ahead of this, and uh, you know, if you really do think you Bell's going to be that crazy, you have the out in front of you. I'm sure there will be other ways that you can try to stop this, but this appears to be the big one here. Now I got to talk about Cyverse Quantum Dragon, and the first thing I do want to say here to you is yes. There's a Prismatic Seeker version of this with 105 listings on the market, with the Savage Strike version having 54 of these on the market. So your Ultra Rare is uh, kind of starting to shrink down. Now, the reason that this I wanted to put this here was uh, I was listening to somebody complain that their locals got bought out of this. And they're like, I can't believe somebody just came through here and bought out all of our Cyphers Quantum Dragons. Well, you know... Tempai Dragon does have the option to play this with this being a level 7. And then, okay, so when you control Link Monster, monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters you control for attacks except this card. Also, your opponent cannot target monsters you card with uh, card effects except for this one. Okay, we don't really... Sure. Once we're at the start of the damage chip, this card battles an opponent's monster. You can turn that opponent's monster to the hand, and this card can make a second attack in a row. Huh. It gives us a level 7 out to bounce literally... Anything on the field. Is this an out to you, Bell? Yes, it would appear that it is. This gives you the ability to, you know, those, those little annoying you, Bell. As long as there's not a phantom on the field, all right? You can uh, you can use this mid-battle phase, bounce the U-Bell back to their hand, and then go, all right, cool. Well, now we can continue on with our day here um, with either trying to deal with more of the other little floaters that the deck might have, but... Um, I think there is something to this, especially if you're in the business out here of wanting to pick up Tempai Dragons. How many times do we need to go try, pick up Trident Dragon if you want to play this? If not, be patient and then play the waiting game. Now you have another card that meets the list of things that you kind of want to consider out here. Yeah, I know. Gearing up for this Tempai Dragon shenanigans is literally going to be some of the craziest stuff we kind of have to deal with at the moment. So uh, I hope your wallets are ready for picking up what we would call the, uh, the good stuff for this. Now, I got to talk about this water hype. Now, for those of you that do not know, last night's new core set after Infinite Forbidden got announced which is Japan's July set. And you know what I've heard from everybody? Woo! Water support. Finally. Finally. But here's the problem. This is a water set. All right? It literally is probably going to be Shark Drake support. Um, that doesn't help you immediately. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's the funniest thing. It's like right now people are looking at this and they're like, oh, you know, Time to go pick up all my all the Atlantean stuff in Max. I mean, yes, we're still suspecting that Atlantean structure deck somewhere 
I, I don't know where. All right, it, it's <laughs> honestly that in the uh, the Chaos Dragon Structure Deck remakes have been on our radar for like the last year, year and a half. Ever since you know we went through this whole you know resurgence of fire here and. Considering the fact, you know, we have the next course that literally in front of us that literally goes, hey, hey, you, you want some water? So you want shark drake support? You want some shark drake power-ups? Yes, Rage of the Abyss is doing what it needs to do. It's generating hype for water. And uh, as, if water can get the same level of treatment that fire just got, I don't think anybody anywhere out here is going to be disappointed, you know, with this. All right, so I guess this is your cue that, you know, now that you can see the writing on the wall and go, whoa, it's a rage of the abyss over there, Robbie. I'm, I'm waiting for this. <laughs> I'm waiting for this not to be water spore and be a blue eye set, but that's a discussion for another day. So in terms of your water stuff, I guess if you really want to shark drink vice, I guess, if you really do believe that this is going to be some sort of... Uh, you know, well, I, I guess it, it probably will be a, a, a power upset in regards to probably maybe sharks cards. Um, but like, that's a huge, uh, probably n number support in there again, too. How many times are we going to power up number monsters? And the other big thing here is, is we just did get the new gimmick puppet stuff. So if they're going to give this deck, and here's the craziest part. If we're going to give them a new, uh, a new field spell, in the same realm of what we've given to this other um, stuff, you know, these crazy deniable, you know, cards, you know, there might be, there might be a little bit of something to this, but the writing's on the wall. You have your chance to pick up your, your crazy shark support. Well, I guess that's the other thing too. You probably should look at things like Abyss Shark, you know, the, the little silent stealth cry, honestly, Probably everything that has ever been decent for water is going to be on everybody's watch list for the time being. And that means Stealth Crack and Crag and Spawns, the low rarity stuff in that department. We've already seen Abyss Shark stuff go up. The only thing I can't really say solidly on is, you know, is any of the rank up magic stuff going to be worth it? Because honestly, I, I personally don't really think so. Um, it's a cool idea. I guess, to, to give some consideration, because, I mean, most of these decks, especially, you know, you you got the new um, Battle and Boxer power-up, you did get the new Gimmick Puppet power -up. They are giving new, at least one new support card in terms of, you know, number support. So, that's once again, you know, we go back to, you know, Shark Drake Vice out here. You know, if this is something that you really think that they're going to give a power-up to, then pick up whatever department you think of. Yeah, I just went on a rant tangent about water support for four minutes because they just need one generic card. Imagine, what, love, search a level four water monster or a level four aqua monster from your deck. Oh boy, that's gonna be a crazy good time. The last thing I wanna talk about here is Archlord Christia. So, this weekend in the OCG, we saw another Horus deck sighting. Yeah, I know, this tends to be a lot of the trend here. Um, it's just, what flavor of evolution do you wanna have for your Horus pile? Well, it would appear that these decks are foregoing the Vanity's Ruler and the Vanity's Emptiness, and they're trying out Archlord Christia. Now, one of the, the, the downside to this is, you know, Archlord Christia still says neither player can, you know, do, do their thing. And I think that's the thing that, like, I'm not really too excited about with this, but it's, it's also bigger. Like, I think that's the biggest thing that you need to consider out here is 2,800 attack points on a monster is absolutely insane and certain decks have an issue you know dealing with this but the cool thing is christia you, you know can dip back out onto the top of the deck so you could technically resummon it again if your opponent outs it so i guess you know if you survive you can reestablish it and then attempt to do a, a you know another board after you bring up your horus card so i guess in terms of recurability it's just that. But I wanted to put the spotlight back on Christia here and go, hey, you know, we're starting to see this card do its thing again. I don't know how many times this is going to be that, you know, we're going to be like, hey, 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 look, Archlord Christia, it's doing its thing again. Those pesky Horus duelists out here are trying out these flavor of the week, flavor of the month sorts of things. And, you know, we're seeing, you know, these rapid shifts and they're doing their thing. Well, the more you know. What a what a night! I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm genuinely impressed for this game. So please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace out.
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.